Hello YouTube, how's everybody doing? I just finished my fourth week of ideal protein diet. Just came back from the doctor today and guess what? How many pounds I lost? Six pounds. I lost six pounds in one week. Six pounds in one week. Total loss of a 25 pounds in four weeks. Actually, 28 days I've been on a diet. I lost 25 pounds. You looking good? I know I'm looking good. I know, I know. You don't have to tell me. I know I'm looking good. Thank God that that lost 25 pounds. I really thank the Lord that uh, He given me the willpower to stick to this diet. In the beginning it was kind of hard, but I did it. 25 pounds. If I can lose an average 20 to 25 pounds, I can meet my goal and. I can meet my mini goal, which is 100 pounds in four months. 100 pounds in four months. What I did this week, I was doing actually some exercise. I did like uh, three days out of the whole week, uh, 30 minutes walk on the treadmill. And one day, it was a very, very active day. I had a very active day, you know, I was going shooting some photos and I stayed like four hours walking around up and down, up and down. And so the result was six pounds. And I put the goal for last week to lose five, but actually I lost six. I'm so happy that I lost six pounds and uh, very excited. I'd like to talk about what this diet teach me in the last 28 days being on this diet. I'd like to share this with, with my friend on YouTube. Uh, what this diet teach me, uh, teach me how to control myself and how to look on the food. Like it's, this is, you know how we are addicted to food. Uh, I, I look on the food as something to live off not something to live for, okay? For example, I went on a trip to Michigan this week. I went for three days. I took my shake with me. I took my, uh, like my breakfast, lunch, lunch, and I took my uh, snack with me. And I was worried about, about how I'm gonna control myself or, you know, because it's a party, it's a graduation party. And I wanna test myself and test my power. To see if I can control myself or not. Believe it or not, <clears throat> we drove actually from Chicago to Michigan. On the way there, my family got hungry. And, uh, oh, stop the car, stop the car, we need to get some food. I said, it's fine, no problem. We went inside, they ordered the food. I said, I'm gonna wait outside, I'm gonna go eat my lunch, which was lunch time. So I went outside, I took my cup, put some water, put some. Uh, uh, in one of the package, shake it, drink my first package, then I shake my second package and I put it in the car and I was sipping on it on the way to, to Michigan. It took us like five hours, five and a half hours. We have to make a couple of stops on the road and both stops, they, you know, they stopped to get some snacks and I stayed in the car. I said, go ahead, do your thing. And when we got to the party on Saturday, it was a lot of food. You know, if you are weak, you will you will fail. I took my plate, exactly the same thing. I do my dinners. I went on a buffet. I I measure the eight ounces of meat. I took like five pieces of beef. I took small piece of chicken, and I put like a, approximately a cup and a half of vegetable, green peppers, and with onion, with jalapeno, with peppers too. So I took my plate and the, the guy was looking at me at being a big guy and taking that small amount of food. He said, what's wrong with you? I said, well, I'm sorry, I'm on diet. I have to stick with my diet. So this diet or any diet, what you need to learn, you need to learn how to control your portion. You need to control yourself. And I believe this is the success if you want to be a successful person, you need to control your portion. So now I look on food, it's, you know, we eat to live, not we live to eat. 
I don't want to live to eat anymore. I don't want to live just to eat and go to uh, buffets and go to other uh, restaurants and, and order the big amount, big, big plate and wait for your wife. Oh, I hope she don't finish her plate. I want to eat her plate too. No, not anymore. Take my food, measure it. You know what to cup measure. <coughs> you know what eight ounces of meat. You know what six ounces of meat. You need to learn how to do that. You need to control yourself. And I think this is how you get successful on the weight loss. And one other thing, if you are on this diet or any other diet, you cannot skip meal. You cannot skip meal. If you skip breakfast, you're gonna be more hungry at lunch and all your times thinking about what are you gonna eat for lunch, how, what, what, which restaurant you're gonna stop by. But if you eat your breakfast, drink your water, at lunch time you eat your lunch, you don't think, you don't have that big amount of time to think like, oh, I'm sitting in the car, and, oh, all I'm thinking is about food. But if you kill that hunger, even with the small amount of food, I believe we're all gonna be successful. So two things, you need to learn how to control yourself, you need to know, learn how to measure your food. You know, you need to learn how to measure your food. If you measure your food automatically and you teach yourself how to measure it, every time you go, you don't have to be afraid, oh, I'm gonna go and eat uh, as much as I can. Oh, I'm not full, no. You eat, you wait. Drink your water, believe it or not, the hunger will go away. You only will be very successful. Like I said, this is my experience. I'm just trying to share it with my friend. Even if I help one person other than me, I think I'll get more blessing from the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, so stick to your plan, okay? Prepare your food ahead. And do it, you know? Just do it. We all can do it. Now I'm gonna talk about goal. You need to set yourself this mini goal. You know, to reach that big goal, you need to set yourself a mini goal. Last week, I set myself a five pound weight loss, and I did six. I'm more excited, you know. I'm, you know, I achieved my goal. I'm so happy that that my plan is working. So my next week, I'm gonna set myself another five pound. What I'm gonna do to achieve that goal? I'm gonna increase my walking weekly. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do like, I did three days last week, I'm gonna try to do four days this week. And I'm gonna increase from 30 minutes, I'm gonna increase it to 45 minutes. Okay, I hope the weather will, will help us, you know, to walk outside, I can do it. If not, I have the treadmill in the house. I'm gonna try to walk four days, 45 minutes per day, day after day, day after day. So this way I can achieve my five pound loss for next week. My next week goal is gonna be five pounds. So don't tell me you can't do it. We all can, okay? We all have the willpower to do anything we can. If we put our mind to it, we can do it. Just like I can do it, you can do it. Again, thanks everybody for watching this videos. Sam from Chicago. Oh, I forgot, congratulations to the Blackhawks. Congratulations to the Black House, I'm so happy. But, stay away from food. Food is dangerous. Processed food is dangerous. Food is dangerous, keep it in your mind. Tell yourself, food is dangerous, sugar is dangerous. Stay away from that junk. Until next week, I hope I lose another five pound, reach 30 pound. Wish me good luck, just like I wish you good luck. Thank you guys, see you again next week.